Hey guys, nice quick demo video for you today. I've had several requests asking how to sprue a 3D print for metal casting using lychee. And this really is a very simple and useful process. But before anyone says anything, the company calls it lychee, so I call it lychee. Pronounce it how you like, but out of respect for the creators, I'll say it their way. I'm using this ring as an example. So starting with your print, position it where it's best suited for easy printing and supporting. And you'll notice I'm raising the print 10 millimeters from the plate here to make sprueing easier. Once ready, return to the layout environment to see your print floating in midair. To add a sprue, just click on this library button at the top of the toolbar here and select the cylinder. Now we can see that Leechy has added a cylinder to the plate for us and that makes a useful sprue. We just need to resize it. So click the scale button and this is important, deselect the little padlock. If you don't, Leechy will keep scaling the cylinder but we want to resize it. So using the scale box, I'm going to enter a nice sprue size. Let's say three millimeters by three millimeters by 10 millimeters. Now that's a pretty good guess, but I can do better. So let's try four by four by 11. And that's spot on. Using the move tool, I can manually position this brew to be a little more central. And that's it, just add supports and splice. As you do, Leechy will combine the ring and the sprue into one solid print for us. But if you're thinking I've chosen an easy example, well, obviously yes I have, but the same principles apply even if things are a little more complex. Using the scale and move tools, Leechy will allow us to place a sprue anywhere in the 3D environment. As long as both the ring, in my case, and the sprue are physically touching each other, it will work. If you leave a gap, then you'll get two separate pieces printed. But if there's no gap, Leechy will combine them when it slices. And just for good measure, don't forget that you can use this technique not only for sprueing. There are other shapes in the library and you can include them in your print in exactly the same way. So that's it for this quick demo video guys. I hope it was useful to some of you. So take care and thanks for watching.